I'm happy I got this one. I need that. I need that. I just look at it. I just ate. What do you want? Eight for two. I know. I just ate. Give her a break. And now we're about to eat for three for three ice cream. <laughs> The reason why the camera is at a different angle today is because of the fact that I do not have my tripod right now. And <laughs> it's a wooden kitchen chair that you're stacked up on with uh, three boxes of uh, something that Ashley painted for school a few weeks ago and has been just sitting in the corner of the living room. So I tried, I tried. Let's see. I tried this one, which this is, uh, I have told the story, I think, about the fact of me falling off one of these chairs a while ago and hitting my, uh, side of my ribcage on a dresser. This is the, this is the one that I was standing on. Yes, we still have it. Twenty-something years later, especially after I hurt myself on it, we still have it. But, uh, yeah, I tried to stack up a whole bunch of, like, uh, pizza boxes and stuff that my mom has not brought to the, uh, dump yet, and, uh, wants to sound in, buddy. Not the laptop. We're not going for the laptop. But tried to stack a whole bunch of boxes and stuff on it. Just it didn't work. So we're just gonna go with the fact that the boxes that we have now and the chair that we have now is working. We are going to do this a completely different way this time because I'm not gonna lie, it's really annoying having to sit down six times a week and film well not film well no, yeah, film myself explaining all these clips and everything else so some are on my computer and of course I didn't want to override my computer again so uh the rest of it <laughs> and yes there's a lot right now the rest of it is completely written down right here so uh I'm pretty sure it starts before Mother's Day and I'll explain everything First I'll explain what you guys just saw, then I will explain everything else and with every other clip that we have going on here, and then I will 
finish off the rest of this with how I've been feeling recently and what's been going on with this pregnancy, if anybody truly wants to know or anything like that. Um, it's been a painful, not I've not been sick recently, so I'm not going with for that one. But um, it's been a very mentally draining, physically exhausting process to get to where I am now with everything that's going on. Um, the most current update that I can give at the moment is I'm 28 weeks and three days and it really massively sucks being in your third trimester when you are or when it is in the middle of the summer well not in the middle of the summer yet but getting there and then per the fact of also having the Canadian wildfires that are going on all the wildfires that are happening in Canada and everything else which I can never imagine honestly started off in California apparently there's some going on in Australia which I didn't know about I have the uh, my radar app and I look every once in a while just because I just it's so sad to look every day <laughs> it is so sad and with my pregnancy hormones I cry and everything so uh we'll get started oopsie I kicked the chair we'll get started with this whole entire thing uh get you up to date with all the clips and everything that's been going on and then today is Friday so hopefully tomorrow Saturday and then, uh, you know, the rest of the week, I can uh, start to keep track and be on track with all these clips and videos and everything for once. Um, I must say the last, like, two weeks have probably been, eh, the last, like, three weeks have probably been, including Mother's Day, was, like, the most exciting that has gone on in the past few weeks. But the reason why, and I was so happy about the fact of, you know, going out and doing stuff during the summer and everything else, but of course the heat and being in thir your third trimester and everything else, it just literally knocks the crap out of you. And it really sucks, but at the same time, it's life, we'll get through it. I'm more worried about the pain of birth at this point, but we'll get through it. So, let's talk about what has happened the past few weeks and catch you guys up on everything and then talk about what's been mentally draining the crap out of me because it's just it's not fun it's, it's really not fun all right so we will start with the time lapse of clips that you just saw which was my mother and i right before mother's day had decided to go to walmart because um we needed to go grocery shopping number one and i was like you know what i'll go with you because then you know you'll actually get some nutritious stuff for us. I'm not saying that she doesn't normally get nutritious stuff, but like, normally it's like the hostess cupcakes and all that stuff and stuff to snack on. Um, I can't have grapes in the third trimester of pregnancy because it makes your internal temperature very high, I guess, and it has like toxins and stuff in it that could cause apparently a lot of horrible things for pregnant women in this and that, you know. So, honestly, at this point, I'll help pregnant people because this is... I gotta Google everything before I do. I gotta Google, like, what to drink, what to eat, everything else before I even touch it at this point in time. Because grapes, like, who would have thought that grapes would be, like, the number one thing that you can't have in your third trimester? Like, that's just... that's weird. But anyways, <laughs> staying on track with that. Um, I ended up getting... Two, a big container and then a smaller container and I wanted to go for one of the containers that have like little drawers and stuff but we didn't get to that at that point because when we were in the container aisle at Walmart that day there was about seven people I'm not even exaggerating there was about seven people down the aisle that had carriages as well and there was one woman that was like picking out like six different huge containers and it was honestly just really annoying so uh <laughs> so we uh we're like yeah you know we're just gonna pick what we need and then just go because people were just being like I've just I've had such enough of disrespectful people recently and it's just so annoying and these people were just being massively disrespectful in the aisle and just like not letting people get by to grab what they need and I understand you're grabbing what you need but at the same time when you have your cart on the right side of you in front of everything that everybody else is trying to get and then you are literally standing there and you're picking off this side of the shelf when your carriage is all the way over here it doesn't make sense and it's really annoying. 
I took the cart and I put it in front of me, even though, you know, what I was trying to get was right there. So having this big of a cart with a little bit of belly, it's not easy, but I still did it. So that was, that, that was a little bit of a pain in the ass, but... Um, yeah, so I ended up going through all of uh, baby girl stuff. You mo mostly mainly see clothes. Um, newborn. If y'all hear anything out the windows and stuff, this street's really busy right now. And I have my windows and the door completely wide open. Jesus Christ. Alright. But, so we have, um, I think I was like newborn 0 to 3, 3 to 6 months, 6 to... Uh, nine months and then like 12 months and all that stuff and everything that was over the age of three to six months or three to six months and plus I took and I put into a bin because I have one of my drawers that I cleaned out completely for baby girl's clothes but I found it a lot easier to uh, put in making sure my laptop stays on sorry guys um, I made sure to put in the newborn and the zero to three month stuff into the dresser just so that way we have like the main essentials of what a newborn and zero to three months consists of right now because obviously the first like three or so months we're not going to need all of that extra stuff in the drawer but yeah we're not going to need all that stuff in the drawer so I basically took out everything that was not needed for the first like three months after she's born so that way it's not all piled up on each other, I can get to things a little bit easier, and when I think my father's supposed to be leaving on June 30th, and what's today? The 9th? So I have probably the next, like, my cats are fighting. Because normally when I'm out here, Lacey and Cripple like to follow me, and they don't get along with some of the older cats, and they all hiss at each other, and it's just annoying. So if I'm still on track with what I was saying, I think I am. I have the next at least two weeks to go through everything else that's needed to be cleaned out in my room, which I did a pretty good job of the past two days. I'm actually very proud of myself. Um, vacuumed and picked up everything off the floor, and I'm actually doing very well with it, even though my depression has hit a very, not like a high, but like, depression has massively hit. But it's okay. I think it's literally just because we're going into summer and I'm in my third trimester and it's just not fun and I have like stretch marks and that's why I obviously haven't shown my belly or anything like that yet but I have the next few weeks to be able to take everything that is not needed to be sitting out in my room and put it into a box and then when my father leaves on the 30th my mother and I will be taking everything, well, not me, because my mother does not want me walking down the staircase with anything, which explains a lot, because me and my mother have fallen down the staircase multiple times in the past 20-ish years. I think I've explained that before. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to be taking the next few weeks all the uh, containers that I filled and bringing them down. So I think the second container was all the clothes that I know will probably not fit me either at all because they're too small. My mother gave them to me and they're too small from like her childhood or whatever, but there's stuff that I want to keep, I don't want to throw away. And then also there's some shirts and stuff in there that maybe sooner or later down the road I'm going to want to wear. So I made sure, and they're like the like white really dressy shirts. So I made sure that those are in those containers so that way I can make sure you know keep everything clean and neat and just not out in an open area creating a whole entire mess so good lord third trimester means being out of breath a lot the next part of that time lapse i'm pretty sure was mother's day my aunt decided to take me my sister my mother and i to i think it was papa z's in Colchester, Connecticut, um, it said Middletown or something like that on the thingy and I questioned it. She goes, no, it's Middletown Road. I was like, oh yeah, that explains a lot. So at first we went to my aunt's mother-in-law, mother-in-law? Sister-in-law. Well, mother-in-law's, but my mother, my aunt's mother-in-law has been passed away for a while. So we ended up going up there. Um, the most that I could explain about it is my aunt's sister-in-law was having a lot of trouble with some mental things and such. Um, basically, her brain 
is acting a lot older than how old she is and they had to put her in a home and my aunt had to go up there probably almost every single day the past like three or four months because she has her dog Cosmo that we that I I didn't go into the house because the house is apparently just trashed crap right now like not massively trashed but it's like she smokes cigarettes inside the house and um, she wasn't really keeping up after herself much so that's basically the main explanation of that but um, I did a time lapse of the reservoir which I thought looked pretty nice so there was that that you guys saw obviously um, my sister brought Cosmo out my aunt went and found the two cats that are left in the house that um, apparently they hide under the couch constantly which my aunt thinks is, you know, not good for them, but at the same time, you never know if they actually come out and, like, wander around the house when nobody's home. So, we don't know if the cats are actually, you know, physically getting out from underneath the couch or not. We're hoping, but you never know, unless we were to, like, set up cameras, which at this point, there's really no point. But, um, I'm pretty sure my aunt's sister-in-law checked herself out of the rehab facility, or the rehabilitation center, whatever it was. I'm pretty sure because my aunt had a long talk with her and let her know like I can't keep coming up every single day and doing all this stuff for you and you know just cleaning up basically everything that like a housekeeper would be doing I guess you could say so uh yeah without explaining anything more because it honestly it's just a lot of negativity I don't really like having negativity especially at this point in time with all that's been going on um but yeah, that was, those clips were of putting away a bunch of baby girls clothes, um, putting away a bunch of my own clothes I'm not going to be wearing right now, and uh, Mother's Day, oh, we didn't just go to my aunt's sister-in-law's, we went to um, Papa Z's after that, I got stuffed shells in a soup, which was really fucking good, really fucking good. Um, I don't remember what else. I think my aunt got, like, the stuff cleaned or something like that. And then Ashley got, like, chicken fingers or something like that. And I literally don't even fully remember at all what my mom got. But after that, we decided to take the ferry, which is pretty cool. Me and Adrian, or Adrian and I have been going down uh, fishing off the Connecticut River legally. And... Uh, there was one day where we went down there and I saw the ferry going back and forth multiple times. It was actually pretty cool after, you know, going on it so many times in my lifetime. The only time that I had actually seen it go across the river was when I was on it. So it was pretty cool sitting there and watching it go back and forth every like 20 minutes and all that stuff. Um, and then after that, we ended up going to Sweet Luna's on Main Street in Old Saybrook and getting, I think I got chocolate tea or milk tea whatever it was with uh, strawberry bobas which is like my go-to because it tastes like uh, chocolate covered strawberry it tastes really good and then we ended up going to Dairy Queen and normally I have a problem with being lactose intolerant but for some reason for some odd reason I was perfectly fine having the stuffed shells with the milk with the ice cream and I was very shocked in my body for once because my body normally is does not allow me to sit there and intake ice cream without running to the bathroom within 20 minutes and being in there for like an hour and a half so honestly it was pretty exciting now after the Walmart trip and Mother's Day I'm pretty sure some of the next clips on my laptop. Um, I have like above my belly, I got like slight muscle pain under my boobies where my uh, rib cage is, like the bottom of my rib cage is, because obviously baby girl growing so much, so it's <laughs> starting to hurt when I bend over a tad bit every once in a while. So um, we're gonna try to bring this a little bit closer. So I'm not dying trying to see this. Actually, let's bring it a little bit closer. So. The clips that I have on my laptop right now are... Is that a bus? I can't tell. 
I took a few clips of us going to, we went to Cumbies at one point in time, I think it was a few towns over from us, and Adrian was looking for worms to be able to fish with, which they said, oh, it, we don't have them, but they're at the hardware store across the street. So I took a clip of the hardware store sign, and then I'm pretty sure these clips were at Cockaponsit when we were trying to do our um, podcast, which I finally just got up, I think it was last week after just stressing so much over and just wanting to have it done. So, clips of, er, yeah, a few clips of Kakaponza and the water and Adrian fishing a little bit. And then a few clips of me talking about the reason of why we had to leave the area where we were. So I'm going to give a brief explanation to that before these clips pop up just in case it gets confusing or anything like that. We went to, I think it's called the Padaconk, which is really weird to me because when my aunt grew up in, or when I grew up with my aunt in Chester on weekends, like Chester, Connecticut, um, there's a place, a river down there called Padconk, and I'm pretty sure, like, a, a building down there that's, like, a restaurant or whatever. So, for there to be a place called Padconk and Cockponds, it is just, it, I was like, what? Anyways, we went down there, and there was a whole entire family of, I don't even know if it was family, I think it was just, like, a whole bunch of kids that went down there and they would have fun. Not even kids, they were, like, probably in their early 20s or whatever, but there was... I don't want to say a group, because to me a group is like 10-15 people, but there was like probably 6-7 people, 8-9 maybe, I don't know, I didn't count, but 
we got there and they were blasting from what I'm aware of, you guys have seen the podcast already, you guys would listen to it, or you could hear it in the background, you could know. Um, they were blasting some Spanish type of music, which, go ahead, blast whatever the hell you want to blast. I mean, not blast it, but like, play whatever you want to play. Due to the fact that it was literally just us and them there, we went off to the side, where it's a no swimming area, and they had the whole entire rest of the other part of the lake to be able to go, and do what they wanted to do. Well, as soon as we set up the camera to be able to do the podcast, literally I set up the tripod, and then one of the guys got into, I still don't fully remember what the difference between a kayak and a canoe is, but anyways, he got into a boat that you paddle with the with the hand thingy, with, you know what I mean, and they, all of them ended up starting, there was that guy in that kayak canoe thing, and then there was, like, a, a like, flat, like, paddleboard type of thingy that, like, you, like, stand on and, like, push yourself through the water with, and they were, probably three or four of them were jumping all over it, screaming, yelling, and just basically disrespecting the puck out of the fact that Adrian and I were trying number one fish and trying to do the podcast. So, they ended up <laughs> going through our whole entire little area, like from where they had all their setup and everything. They jumped on that little boat thingy, paddleboard thingy, whatever, and they all just went through the little area that we were trying to fish in and all that stuff. And so disrespectfully, so disrespectfully, splashing, screaming, everything. I'm not exaggerating. It, I do what you want to do just please don't be so disrespectful to somebody when they have a camera out and they're obviously purposely trying to do something off on the side they purposely leave you guys alone we sat down we did. We were doing our own things they purposefully went to the no swimming area made it over to where the rocks were and then they were making a whole bunch of noises they were trying to get up from the rocks and take their like board thingies, whatever it was, and walk all the way back around. Keeping in mind, there was a whole bunch of goose poop in the middle of this whole entire like grassy area. And these people had like no shoes on whatsoever. They were struggling getting up the side of the rocks and they were struggling walking back because there was so much goose poop everywhere. And it was it was just <sighs> it pet my peeves, okay? It really, really pet my peeves. And I was trying to be as nice as possible. But when you are just being so goddamn disrespectful, it is just really rude. Just really fucking rude. So, we ended up having to pack up our stuff from there after we were finally done with the podcast. We got the podcast done, and because of the fact that Adrian and I were saying out loud, I don't understand why these people have to be so disrespectful, that's literally the main thing that we were saying. We were not saying anything rude, like, not saying anything rude. Other than the fact of me sitting there saying, you know, I don't understand why people have to be so damn disrespectful. So, they either got tired of us or something, you know. Maybe they thought that we were going to get in the water and, like, you know, splash around with them or something like that. First of all, I can't because I was almost in my third trimester. Did I just say second of all? First of all, I can't. Because I was almost in my third trimester. Uh, second of all... As said, we were there to fish and do the podcast, so at that point, I'm pretty sure, maybe I did bring my bathing suit. I don't even know if I had my bathing suit on me, to be honest with you. I mean, not physically on me, but like in the bags with us. But yeah, it was, it was a pain, and we were trying to be as nice as fucking possible. And then they started packing up their stuff and leaving, and that's when Adrian and I were like, of course you start packing up your stuff and leaving when we're done with our podcast. So... That was the whole entire thing, and then we ended up going down to the pier, which, thank God we did, because he actually was able to catch something out of the fact of all of those people being in the water and splishing and splashing around to the point where the fish wanted nothing to do with even having bait on the hook. So, and I say it that way because when I was younger, my grandfather used to buy me, like, a whole bunch of fishing poles and stuff, like the tiny little, like... Barbie ones that you can get from like Dollar Store or Walmart, wherever it is that they used to sell them or whatever. I would think, oh yeah, all you gotta do is you know put the hook on there and just you know cast out. 
No, you gotta use bait. And like, you know, some cool fun things, which obviously you guys know what I'm talking about. Like the little, like, uh, uh what are some of the things? The, like, the little, like, fake colorful worms and all that stuff that you put on there and everything else to attract whatever you're trying to attract. I never knew that that was a thing until a couple years later, but I wasn't really fully into fishing yet when it came down to it until, you know, Adrian and I started going and having to look at fishing stuff and everything else and me having my fishing license and all that stuff. But yeah, so the day ended up with us ending up down at the pier and I explained a lot of that in the clips coming up. So, uh, I guess enjoy watching that because <laughs> <laughs> it was just very annoying to go there. So spot one today because of course we had to leave because the people, well as soon as we left people left too, but a family was being absolutely rude and Adrian had his lines out and people were swimming into the area where you're not even supposed to go swimming anyways. So now we are going to go stop, get some snacks and then head to another area. And hopefully I won't be trying to choke someone this time. But anyway, so yeah, the podcast uh, is going to be up by the time that this video is up. So go and check that out if you guys want to. Uh, we opened some mystery taco boxes and stuff, found some cool things. It was pretty nice. But yeah, it kind of just put a damper on the day. And now... And usually it's just because of us having an issue between the have like some some silly reason that makes our day. No, 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 no. This time was actually we we're having a fabulous day, great time, and people have to just make make have to just oh, uh, <sighs> yeah. Just a lot of not needed stuff, and then of course there was a whole entire lake for them to be swimming around and they had to like we were on the far we we're on the right side where it, it's like here's the ending of the lake they're on this side they're on like 50 100 feet away maybe a little farther on where you have the rest of the lake keeping in mind as i said we purposefully we purposefully went to the right side so that way none of our hooks would get up people's butts or but, caught in heads. But they were trying to come up come up to our hooks and try to get caught in their butt. And they didn't really even speak English either. I had to yell Nothing at them. against it, but they were being very rude either way. And we were trying to tell them, hey, there's hooks in the water. We're fishing. And, of course, as like when, when we pulled up there, they were minding their own business. Blasting their own music, whatever. As soon as we went to go sit down... They had kayak or canoe, whatever the hell it is, in the water. Kayak. And they were all, the whole entire freaking family, six or seven of them, were going, ooh, pretty car. Oh, I know that car. He's at the. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> I, he can't, he's come for alignment and everything. Yeah, was a. But yeah, so as soon as we sat down, we were minding our own business, trying to do the podcast and everything else. It, it kind of fucking annoyed me, and so we had to get the podcast done and still minding our own business but they all weren't minding their own business so i got a slight freaking headache now and i was close to absolutely going awol and then not being not being mr for nice frenchman like i usually am i really wanted to go awol if it continued so we got our podcast done it was pretty decent tried some new stuff so we got some you know new snacks and stuff for now some were good some were a little eh but it was, it was worth it. We got it done. It was pretty fun. Now, as I said, we're going to get snacks. And then we're going to go and fish at a different spot. And I'm going to get some content there. And hope to God that we don't have the same problem. Because it's almost 4 o'clock on a Tuesday. His day off. People are getting out of work soon. And I'm hoping that that's not going to wreck us going and trying to fish out of oh we are completely legal with fishing by the way we have our fishing licenses we got them from walmart so Just got them today so we're completely legal they're 100 percent valid and i got and i have my boater's license too and the fact that those people were swimming in a non-swimming area anyways so either way it wouldn't have been our fault if anything happened or if somebody got a freaking hook in the foot or in the head or in anything else so 
we're just gonna go find somewhere else to enjoy ourselves for now. So I hope everybody else is having a good day. So we made it to Yishas and the Hatamari. I don't know if anybody f knows about that, but if you're from around Connecticut or around here, then you know. Um, Adrian went inside to get a bag of sour cream and onion potato chips because those sounded pretty good. And then also a fruit bowl. I had to take some Tylenol, which is the only thing that I can take right now because of, you know, this going on. 25 weeks today. Woohoo! 15 weeks left, give or take. Um, and yeah, we're not sure completely where we're gonna go yet, but definitely better than where we just were. I'm very sideways. Sorry, people. My dashboard is not straight, apparently. Um, but yeah, so we're grabbing snacks here. And uh, we're gonna go and find a nice place to go and sit and have some fun with the rest of the afternoon because this all put us in a bad mood. So, it was Nobby! I haven't seen him in a while. I found my fish hooks. Sack for honey, and then you found. Oh, okay. Found the right. Look at that! Because the thing that we opened had too big of hooks for him. Well, for what I needed to do right now. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then the um, the ones that you already had, did you say weren't big enough? Yeah, uh, yeah I feel like they were just kind of, I feel like it was more meant for a trout mouth, not for like a whatever mouth I'm trying to catch. So we had to get them middle size. Because <laughs> it wasn't, one was too big uh -huh. and one was too small. So, huh, we're going to go and find somewhere. Better right now. So we made it to our official spot of today because of all the this hair on my microphone. Because of all the crap that was going on at the last one. We got our little foodies for right now and he's putting the thing of bob into the ground. Wherever that was, so that way he can set up the fishing pole. Again, everything legal, so everybody can eat my butt just kidding <laughs> don't do that but I set up the blanket again even though I can't see it from that angle and it's very very low tide but I'm gonna be sitting up in this area because I don't feel like going and sitting down on the knees I or sitting down on the rocks with my knees and everything I kneeled down at the last spot to pick up some stuff and a huge I still feel the indentation of where that huge freaking rock went into my knee I don't feel too good what rock? When I kneeled down at the last spot, uh, and I had a huge indentation in my knee when I got up, yeah. but <clears throat> nice one. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna enjoy our time because there's literally nobody here at this one. We were gonna come here before, but there's no service down here half of the time unless you're very lucky All to get it. Actually, I think I have service right now. Oh no. When I lift up my phone and put it specific places is when I have the service. But, yeah, yeah so we're here for now. We're just going to enjoy the Connecticut River right now. He got hooks, but then found some that he was missing. So there's that. Right, so I didn't have base size either way, so I needed that. It also looks like it's in the middle of uh, switching tides. So it looks like... Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe it needs to go down a little bit more. But it looks like you may not have that much... Uh, what's it called wind like we did at the last one but yeah we're here for now it's 4 30 so we're gonna be spending our time down here hopefully because every time that we've been coming down here not a lot of people have been coming down here i think a lot of people have been just getting sick and tired of going out and partying and drinking all the damn time so we're gonna be sitting down here just enjoying our time there's a little area off on the side that people it looks like people made a piss spot so, because of course when you're drinking, you gotta pee all the time. When you're drinking water, you gotta pee all the time too. The last spot, I didn't want to go off and pop a squat anywhere because I was scared of people walking up on me. <laughs> and I popped a squat over by the car, and I almost got it all over my shoes, of course. Because I was kind of rushing to do it, because I didn't want people to like walk upon me. And then there's also... What's that nest up there? The nest that's up there? It's an osprey nest up there. When we came here, it kind of yelled at us, which it's fine. We're not going to bother you. We're not going to do anything. 
But yeah, there's the Explorer. We got all the stuff at the back. We take the Explorer into the places the Jetta and everything else can't get into because it's too low right now to be able to do any of that stuff. But yeah, now we're down here and we're gonna in... Huh? Yeah, he ran out most of his line because the last place that we were at, a whole bunch of conundrum crap went down. But it's okay. If we need to reline, we got it. It's okay. Ouch! There's rocks up here too! That didn't feel good. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna enjoy our time here. We were gonna be going to Dave and Buster's today, but at this point we just wanted to be able to sit and enjoy our time and relax for a little bit. So hopefully here we can actually do that without any problems. A dude came down with his dog and he was minding his own business, so... That's pretty decent. But, yeah, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna enjoy everything that's going on here. And hopefully get like a time lapse or something because that would be pretty nice. So.